Oh, it finally arrived, guys. After months of waiting, the pre-order wait was real. It was really, really painful, but it's finally here. So obviously I wanted to share with you unboxing it and seeing what's inside. I already did the boost kit because it's just a power base and I expected that already. Uh, but let's have a look inside the box. So with the cover off. It's going to be hard to get out, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I watched a video with Jardier when he got his test one and it had a red label sticker around that, so I'm guessing they did away with that. Ooh. I'm a little bit excited for this, guys. Let's pop this over here. Oh, there we go. I think the light's going to be quite bad. So it's not massive. I've never had anything of this sort of quality before. I've went from Logitech to Fanatec, so it's been a bit of an upgrade. I didn't really know what to expect because I've never seen any of the DD series wheels. So. Size-wise, you can see it there against the keyboard. That's where it's going to sit. Exciting, exciting. So I'm going to get it all wired in. I've got, got the handbrake there. The handbrake, excuse me, the shifter ready. Pedals are done. Just a quick note on the pedals, very easy to uh, to assemble, I'm not going to go into too much detail with that, but I did take the time to wrap the wires up so they weren't loose underneath using the small holes on the front here. <clears throat> so that's obviously tidied the wires up quite nicely. And then for fixing to the base, I'm going to get longer bolts for the front because I've, I've got the right thread, but they're not long enough. And I've made three holes here on the wheel stand for that to fit on there as well. So pedals will be done. We've got all the clamp out of the box. That's been in hibernation for a couple of months. So we're going to attach the DD to the clamp. And uh, the way you do that is you've got this little T piece here that you're going to slide into the bottom. That's going to go through the hole here. So you can then screw through that and put it down onto the base. So we'll quickly get that done. All right, so that's all attached. We've got the table clamp. The uh, unit's quite top heavy before you attach the back on it. So definitely be aware of that guys. But once it's on there and tightened up, that's pretty solid. So exciting, gonna uh, attach all the wires now. So we'll be back shortly. So it's all set up. It took a minute to get the uh, wheel to be recognised by the Fanatec control panel, but I figured that all out, got it working. Had a very quick go, and oh my god, guys, it's uh, it's incredible, the difference. So it's getting a bit late now, it's getting a bit dark in here, so I'm going to finish off this video tomorrow. So we'll edit this, and we'll be right back. All right, so we've got to the part of the video where we're going to have a quick demonstration. Now, I did play last night on Car X quite a bit with the guys. Um, and I can say straight away that having a wheel that rotates quick definitely does make a difference to how the car feels. The same tune on the Infinity that I always ran on the Logitech felt quite weird on the Fanatec. Um, and I had to lower the caster at the, the instruction of uh, Chris and Giovanni. So I just want to say, like, just bear in mind some tunes, they definitely don't translate well across uh, wheel brands. So. do a bit of the uh, red rock hopefully it won't suck again so now quickly just show the settings I haven't done anything to the uh, main settings except I've lowered my force feedback to half so everything still as it was but the, at 1.0 it was crazy OP so I've just lowered it to half and uh, that's what I was trying to get used to last night so, also worth noting as well that the Fanatec pedals feel really different to the Logitech. I mean, I know that's obviously, it goes without saying. But, um, getting used to left foot braking again was a bit strange, so... Unfortunately, you don't get any of the Fanalab, like it's this, so you won't get shift lights or anything on the wheel, but you do obviously still get the nice steering feel. It just feels so, so different.
cool. Not the greatest of runs, still obviously getting used to it, but you get the idea. It's so effortless, guys. And there's no slack, though. There's no like weird, horrible vibrations that you can get from the Logitech. Obviously, it's a Fanatec setup, and it's it's a decent bit of kit. But like, I just was not ready for how nice it is. So if you're thinking about getting one, just do it, do it, do it, do it. Although, bear in mind, if you're in the UK, you're going to pay import tax on your items. So I think it ended up costing me another 250 on top. Just keep that in mind, but wouldn't change it. Totally, uh, totally blown away by it. So we'll do some set of videos soon. Stay tuned for that. We'll do some BMG. We'll see what else we can get into. And uh, yeah, guys, stick around. I'll see you in the next one.